safety and as condolences keep pouring in we're now joined from our Pretoria studios by the Northwest Sports and Re Recreation spokesperson Mr. Freddie Sipeng. Uh, good afternoon Freddie and thank you for your time on the SABC News Desk. Okay thanks a million times is uh, uh, education and sports development. Uh, apologies uh, for that. Apologies yeah. for that one. Well, a much-loved footballer gone too soon. Uh, I just want to garner your reaction to the news of Chiba Masinga's passing. Yes, we are really saddened by the news uh, that Chiba has died. And uh, we convey our condolences to the family. Chiba was a close friend to this department. He used uh, to participate in our activities. For instance, in our, in our department, we're having a soccer tournament, annual soccer tournament, which is called Mace Cup. Chipa has been uh, our ambassador, um, ambassador there, together with uh, Fabian McCarthy, Lavas Motlala, uh, Joseph Chiseve, and uh, uh, all those guys who are supporting us. And uh, Chipa was very much active in coming to activities. For instance, recently we had uh, a a annual teachers award, a provincial annual teachers awards, whereby uh, Chipa was one of the uh, selectors. He was assisting when coming to this department. He was very close to the department. That is why the department, under the leadership of Honorable uh, Mrs. Selolari, we convey our condolences to the family. We are really saddened. And uh, this is a very start of the year, in fact, a very sad start of the year, in fact. Uh, Freddie, he really shot to our hearts with that qualification for France 98 and there were 100,000 people rejoicing at the FNB Stadium uh, who saw him score that goal. But he was also a unifier and a gentleman both on and off the field. Uh, and you in education and development, he also did a lot for players young and old with the development of soccer for youth. Uh, and he's also credited with bringing many former players together, many of whom are now coaches in uh, the regions. Yes, you can believe Phil was such a, such a particular person. Uh, I'm residing in Hamanskral. We had a team there. Phil was playing for that team. And he was a friend to Asian everyone. He was a friend to everyone in the, in the, in the, in the province, also in, in other provinces. You'll remember that he represented us from the province. He represented us from uh, uh, national and international. So we'll remain proud of that guy. Uh, yes, he was indeed uh, growing up in the Northwest. He was uh, indeed a provincial ambassador and, of course, an inspiration to many there. Uh, but he also was an international ambassador for football uh, on, the glo on a global scale because he campaigned tirelessly and lobbied for South Africa's bid to host this uh, Soccer World Cup back in 2010. Uh, you are cutting. I didn't hear what you were saying. All right, let's try that again, Freddie. I was just asking you to elaborate on his role as an international ambassador uh, for football on the global scale when he lobbied extensively uh, for South Africa to host the successful Soccer World Cup of 2010. Ah, you're cutting again. All right, we'll have to leave it there. Unfortunately, we are having audio problems uh, linking up to Freddie uh, in, in Pretoria. We'll try and get him back for you a little bit later on in the bulletin.